wires and electricity in this building. We Please. take what we want. Click. Oh, click. Welcome to OVW. You set the stipulation if Jack Vaughn were to make it through the Joe Back Challenge, he'd face you for the National Heavyweight title. So tonight, it's Jack Vaughn versus Joe Mack, and if he loses, not only does he lose a thousand bucks, Jack Vaughn's got a shot at your National Heavyweight title. And Vaughn caught Goddard and put on Mack from behind it. Oh, Mack struck Goddard's quick roll up. Vaughn got the roll up on Mack. He did it. Elvin Gonza signed the contract with the Rush title, so Elvin Gonza is the Rush champion, not Luke Curtis. So I'm basically going to hold up the Rush title, and we're going to put it online July 6th at Independence Rage against Kyle Hero in a ladder match. Oshira, so proud, so beaming over what you did. Tonight, I'm going to make your night a living hell. I'm going to take the top contenders until I'm going to decide who gets to face you and who gets to face you next. And we're going to start with Matt Vine. Jai Hayata Shira. That's it. You won. That's fantastic. You're going to face Luscious Lawrence next for the OVW title. He hit it. We got a new champion right here. Oh. Luke Curtis pulling the referee out of the ring. Adam Revolver. Sky high out of Shira. Shira capitalizing. Oh, come on. You've yet again succeeded in defending the title. And you two, get out of my building right now. But you might want to get to the back pretty quick and again lace up those boots because you're going to face Crixus next. Shannon the douche distracting the referee. Oh, and the low blow by Shira. Rolls him up after the low blow. I got one more for you. What? And I saved the best for last. Two time OVW Heavyweight yes. Champion Castle. Yes. Oh, look at him making the beeline oh. for the ring. And now the man with that empty sack of cash, Joe Mack, just wasted by cash flow. Shira looking to win this one much no, like he come on, Rick's come on. Cash kicks out. Cash the fire is good. Death Valley driver out of Cash. Two count. Oh. Cash, we call him the Incredible Bulk for a reason. Jesse Gathers out here. Calls the interference. Who has, there's El Snow. Sky high from Shira. That's got to be it. Oh. No. Cash slow. Cash slow. Stayed alive. Cash goes up. Welcome to OVW Live. Brian Kills here ringside with Dancer Stevie J and the Mastermind, the Master Josh Ashcraft. You guys kicking off with Matt Vine, the man from Chicago that lives in the main event. After everything that happened last week, you gotta wonder. Oh, wait, hold on now. Representing the fallen, he is the Nephilim, Timon Sulamino. The Nephilim, Timon Sulamino, the winged one of the fallen, standing across the ring from Matt Vine. And folks, if you follow us on social media, you heard exactly what the Nephilim has in mind for tonight, wanting to squish Matt Vine like a grape from the vine. Well, after Matt Vine went up against Mahabali Shira last week, you've got to think, 
Matt Vine has something he wants to prove here tonight. He's not going to be overlooked and squashed like a grape against Simone Solovino. You're absolutely right, Josh. That's what I was going to say earlier. you got to wonder about the mindset of Matty Ice after everything that happened last week. Him being one of three victims to Mahabali Shira before Cash Flow conquering and becoming the new OVW Heavyweight Champion. Have you met Matt Vine? The man is not short on confidence, but he's also not short on talent or resilience. He's probably already bounced back and has had his eyes set on the future. That's why this guy's a main eventer in every sense of the word. It sounds like you you might be on his payroll there, pal. Simone Solovino tries to get the thick, early huh? advantage here on Matt Vine. Vine turns it around, though, sends Solovino in, and huge back body drop. Can you imagine if he was wearing his wings? He would have flown out of Davis Arena. Matt Vine just so strong oh, and so explosively ah, quick. And hold on. And look at that. Not backing down, letting the mind games of Damone Solovino factor in here. Vine tries to put that boot through the face of Solovino and now nails him with a drop kick. Matt Vine squaring up Damone in the corner. Ooh, big, big splash in the corner. Now, regardless of the mindset of Matty Ice, Damone Solovino, one of the toughest competitors in OVW, part of the Fallen. And you know with the Fallen, where there's one, there could be more. And speaking of, Pack of Hyenas is one Fallen. Last week, we saw the faction not having a great time. Ashira forced to defend his championship four times and falling to cash flow, Which your new OVW Heavyweight the Champion. the unfair, unjust thing I have ever seen in professional wrestling. It was one of the greatest moments in the storied history of the Davis Arena. As Von charges in, misses that splash, and now the Nephilim tries to cut him off, but Vine, European uppercut, backing him up. Sometimes you guys sleep in the bed you make, and that's what happened with the faction last week. But folks, we'll get into that a little later. Big scoop slam from Matt Vine, middle of the ring to Monto Levino in trouble here. They sleep in beds with Egyptian cotton sheets. Thank you very much. What? All right, moving on from that. Oh. Hold on, He's trying to chew on his trap. It was only a matter of time. Using those educated teeth, and guys, while it hurts, it also demeans you. It's a psychological advantage for the fallen to do things like that. Well, those you don't kind want of to tactics. get bit by a guy, especially somebody who's possibly rabid. Well, you know, human mouth is more, ooh, disgusting than a dog's, but Matt Vaughn able to put the brakes on. Damone eats a back elbow. Monkey flipped, and now we got the way Damone. So, you know, did him an old rake of the eyes, getting some distance between himself and Matt Vaughn. Oh, just a shot right to the solar plexus and one to the point of the jaw. Referee Charlene needs to watch out here. Damone not taking too kindly to her rules and the limitations she's putting on him here. Well, I think Matt, Matt Vine's Vine. had just about enough. Matt Vine unloaded with his own shots in the corner now, taking it to Damone Solovino, beating the feathers off of him, so to speak. Ooh! Bone comes back out of that corner, eats a clothesline, takes a second. I believe he calls those closed vines. Oh, but hold on. Matt Vine caught him with this one. Over oh, Demone, up and over, showing that agility, guys. Oh, God. Super kick out of Vine. Demone on Dream Street. I think I saw a fang fly out on that one. Now, hold on. Vine's got him hooked. Matt Vine asking. Or hold on, that crowd asking Matt Vine for one more, and oh my God, he's happy to deliver. The Vine. sadistic fans of Davis Arena. Your winner, Matty Ice. Turns out Ice Industries delivered, fellas. Big win for Matt Vine in his opening match. Yeah. What a huge match to kick off OVW TV tonight. And guys, we are rocketing towards Independence Rage on July 6th. But before that, we got some fireworks tonight, fellas. You're absolutely right. Not only do we have the Destroyers in action, we've got the Dark Reverend Ronnie Roberts, another member of the Fallen, going up against Luscious Lawrence. But Josh, that is far from all. No, no, no. We have a huge main event for you this evening. The Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Heavyweight Champion Crixus takes on the Hood Ninja Isaiah for the first time ever. Oh, Josh, yeah, this is going to be a huge main event, folks. But something's happening backstage right now. Hold on, we, we're going to switch over now. Guys, let's go backstage right now. What the hell is happening? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Get up, dude. Get up, dude. Get up. 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 Get
We get vengeance for the faction. We got some more business to take care of, guys. Let's go. I got a few other things we got to do. Come on. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com It's free! Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. And now the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. Last week, I came out here and I beat Crixus. You know, I thought, I thought those Scottish men, I thought they were supposed to be badasses. I thought they were supposed to be brave. Chris, is the only thing you're showing me is that you're nothing but a coward. Hang on, Cecil's got him up that extinction level event. Uh, Tony Evans rolls him through here. Evans, Evans got a handful of tights. That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money, all of the money. All right, all right, take my shit on. <coughs> take it. What the? Boys, this is grease lightning. No, 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 that's a chicken. That's definitely a chicken. If you can catch grease lightning, you can catch those championship titles. Now, this is what I want you to do, boys. What are you trying to say, Doc? Tell us. Get into that jungle. Smack that she lion and dare the he lion to roar. Lion, you dumb. Yeah. Grease Get lightning. Farm. Go. Oh, no. Truth! I got it! We got it! I got you now! Oh, wait, 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 wait! No, 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 Now, usually there's a referee out here to get these ropes for me. You. Me? That little weasley looking guy right there. Come on. What? You. Oh, he's got to be talking about you. Get up here and get these ropes for me. I'm a star. Go get him, weasley guy. Oh, come on. Hush. Do what you told me. Hey, I would have what we do. This. I mean, it is camera time, Brian. Uh, Hurry up. I ain't got all night. Come on. That's, that's how slow he moves, Tony. Right here, you get these he doesn't ropes have that. The star of the show right here. Hush! Oh, good job, Brian. Wait a minute. Get the hell off my ring. Until each and every single one good of job, you buddy. shut your mouth and give me. Ridiculous. You did great. So disappointing. Nice. I just wanted the show to go on. Now, in case you haven't heard, you've forgotten. We can do this all night. This crowd is not hushing. They certainly are. Nice. In case you haven't heard, in case you've forgotten, you bumped your head, you forgot, my name is Superior Tony Evans. And I am the official, uncrowned, Country Boy Brewing, Kentucky Heavyweight 
champion. I say uncrowned because there's a little paper champion back there that thinks just because he holds a championship belt, that means he's earned something around here. That means he's done something around here. That doesn't mean anything to me. I am the champion. I've earned my spot. Hush! Keep pointing to me, boy. I'll rip you over that guardrail. I'll beat you with your little boyfriend's wheelchair. Now, clearly, I apologize to everyone. Clearly, I am not out here to compete tonight. Aww. I don't need to compete because I've already got the championship. Now, Crixus. You've been here for two, two, maybe three years, and you haven't gotten any better. Week to week, you suck even more and more. So it's clear to me that you're not a grower or a shower, are you? Well, hold on, stiff words there. Hush! Hold on. I think Crixus has heard just enough. He's going to ask Tony Evans to hush. Crixus, not a man for many words, a man for action. But it's, I'm not worried about him. But hey, if he does want to get in this ring with me, I have no problem mopping the floor with Crixus again. He can take that stupid little line coat off. Well, I'm Tony Evans, I has heard that is an invite. Oh, come on. Real brave, Tony Evans. Oh, he understood that his time was over. Now The guy backing up the ramp, trying to get away from the Country Boy Brewery Kentucky Boy Champion, trying to get away from Crixus. Well, Crixus is prepped for a fight. We'll have one later on tonight when he faces Isaiah in our main event. A clash for the first time ever between two OVW favorites. Stick around, folks. You're not going to want to miss a second of OVW. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home game. Back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy. Official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. Want to raise money for your school, club, or organization? You can bring the action-packed excitement of OVW to your town. Oh! Email info at ovwrestling.com today to find out more. High school athletic departments, police and fire departments, sports teams, civic groups, or any group wanting to raise money can bring the superstars of OVW to town for a night of hard-hitting, oh! high-flying, action-packed excitement. Welcome to OVW. Bring the superstars of tomorrow to your town. And now, the Wix Pizza Rewind. Hey. Home strike, backhand, and a super kick. The falling out here. PJ Jones now cowering, hiding behind the referee. Well, hold on, what? The falling, scooping out the legs of Shalance, or just pulling Shalance out of the ring. That was the Wix Pizza Rewind. Wix Pizza on Baxter Avenue and Hikes Lane in Louisville. Go, Go ahead. Ahead.
Come on, get over here. Go. Come on, you need to be a big guy. You need to be a player. Your shadows that can't catch up with you. Head to the dock. Head to the dock. How do you do it? This is how you do it. Let's go. Come on. Eat lady. Get up. Get up. Get up. Quit balling. Stay on your feet. Work together. Get it. Get it. One. That's two. I had it. One. Now I had it. Work together. Can't get work together. Let's go. Surrender. Surrender. Come on. Go. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the fallen, the Dark Reverend. Dark Reverend, a man who used to send a donation plate through the fans of OVW, now sends chills every time he enters the Halloween Halls. A collection plate for the building fund, but now only chaos. And his opponent, from Thunder Island, Mr. Juicy himself, Luscious Lord. You can just feel it when Lauren's in his room. That BDE is so thick and palpable. That big daddy energy just fills the halls of Davis Arena with the captain of Booty Islands around us. The captain of Booty Island himself in the ring, luscious Lawrence. You know, he invited me out to Booty Island for 4th of July weekend. I said, Lawrence, I don't have a passport. He goes, no, 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 it's my yacht. It's parked downtown. You know that giant pirate ship in the Ohio? Yeah, that's me. Not a lot of people can withstand the fireworks on Booty Island. But well, hold on. Look at the Reverend mocking Luscious Lawrence a little bit, guys. Now, Steve, you look at the two psychological masters in the ring, two men who like to play that mental advantage game in That's, very, very that, different that ways. That is a great way of putting it. They are on very, very opposite ends of the spectrum, but yeah. Oh, speaking about opposite end of the spectrum, big butt bump there. That posterior-based offense, as you call it, but now the dark rev. Just looks enraged by that as Lawrence. Look how strong. Oh my God. What you see how quick he just, him. he just snagged him up like he was nothing. <laughs> Slam straight to hell. The Dark Reverend might be out. Now, guys, ah. oh, these two know each other incredibly well. Dude, the, the captain of Booty Island and the skipper of the River Styx. Let's not forget the history of the Fallen, where Luscious Lawrence was an unwilling member for a little while. That he was falling under the spell if you will, of the Fallen for a short period of time, rescued by his brother-in-arms, Crixus. And now Luscious Lawrence taking the fight to the Dark Rev. He's just raining down right heads in the top of that, right hands in the top of the head. We got there. The Dark Rev, yeah. we knew what we were talking yeah, about. Sure. And then a double axe handle puts the Rev down. And you know those old wounds did not heal from his time being under possession of the Fallen. Now hold on. Wait, uh -oh. What is... Reverend, Reverend's all about it. He's, hold on, what? <laughs> He's ready himself is, for a feast. I don't know what was about to happen there, but the dark Rev, now just pounding away on Luscious Lawrence. Rev Reverend about to have a real good time there. That Hoot Whoville was ready for some roast beast, if you know what I'm saying. But now, oh. that, again, that psychological advantage allows Chewy. Reverend Ronnie Roberts to get, get back in this. Sure to chew his eye out. You, some people call it a psychological advantage. Some people call it biting a man in the face. Educated teeth of the fallen are always a handy thing. And you can you can mock it all you want, but it's effective. Look at him. Still has the lead in, in this match so far. Oh, hang on now. Luscious Lawrence feeding off the energy of the crowd, trying to get something going here behind the Dark Rev, but Rev takes him right out. Reverend so dark, but also so quick, so smart, almost goading Luscious Lawrence in there, guys. A bit uh, of counter-wrestling there. Why, and... why is he, what's the Rev doing? We've seen Rev mocking Luscious Lawrence throughout this matchup, is he? That, that belt of the Dark Rev. Oh, no. What is happening? Ooh. Hold on, what is happening here? Do we even want to know? I don't. I really don't. Oh, hold on, Luscious Lawrence. Oh, look at this. 
full Nelson bomb. Driving right down the base of his evil spine. The Dark Reverend now eating the clothesline from Luscious Lawrence. And now Luscious taking out the Dark Rev with a series of clotheslines. About to lose his evil, evil pants. I'll put it in. Oh, big famous here. And that's it. I'm really glad the Reverend is wearing underwear today. Right now, Luscious Lawrence, former Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Heavyweight Champion, taking control of this matchup. We are all thankful on this blessed day that the Reverend is wearing underwear. Now, hold on. Lawrence got him up on his shoulders again. That quickness and that strength taking him for a spin. Spin cycle applied to the Dark Rev. I, I don't know who got the worst of that one. Ducks under the line, though. Oh, hold on. There we go. The old fist bowl swing. Reverend Ronnie Roberts in trouble here. Disoriented now is the Dark Reverend, guys. And again, Josh, you've explained it before. All that pressure, all that weight going to the top of your body. Yeah, to the top of your body, trying to separate your skull from the rest of your spine. Dark Rev in all sorts of a bad way. Oh! One night stand out of Luscious. Your winner of this match, Luscious Lawrence! They're partying tonight on the SS Booty Island, and the captain is going to be leading the tour. Luscious Lawrence picks up a huge win. There's just, there's really something I've just been wanting to talk to you about. Well, we, I, I thought we moved past all that. Like, I, I, I came down to the ring, I, I gave you the big no, unicorn. No, no, you no, know, no, the, no, no, I know. And I, that, what, what? that really showed me something. Yeah? I think we're ready to take things further. What? Yeah. Really? I, yeah, I really... What? what oh. Uh, oh, what, oh, what, what, you me, drop... You, oh, no, no, I got it, I got you it. Dro you drop, you drop, you drop some... Don't worry. Okay. What, <sighs> what, 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 what? <laughs> I was driving home from practice, about to be a free agent, hopefully signing another multi-year deal in the NBA. And I remember seeing this car coming right towards me and a huge loud noise. I knew with my injuries that I wasn't gonna be able to play. Instead, I'm in the hospital looking at all these permanent injuries that I suffered. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life, and I never thought I'd retire at 31 years old. I knew if there was you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was gonna be Morgan & Morgan. It's crazy, because basketball was always there for me. When something like this happened, they weren't, and Morgan & Morgan was. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me, and I'll never forget that. And Morgan & Morgan are unbelievable what they do. They're sharp, they're smart, they're professional. They'll do what's right for you. I'm Chandler Parsons, and I chose Morgan & Morgan. And now, the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. Vaughn, though, now actually up to the top rope. Oh, my God! What a diving shoulder block! But now look at Shannon the douche again. Oh, hold on. Where the Jesse Goddard's out here. But Vaughn caught him! Max struck Goddard's! Jack now, quick roll-up! Vaughn got the roll-up on Mac. He did it! That was the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. It's love in your mouth. We got it! We did it! We got it! We got it! Look at this thing! We did it! 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 Things are about to go from bad to worse for the team of AJ Best and Maximo Suave as they're taking on the Destroyer. And your opponents are in the ring, the team of Maximo Suave and AJ Best.
guys. I caught up with Narelle's Garvin and Zoe in the back. And Narelle's Garvin said, Brian, I don't care who we're facing. That's Big Zoe. I'm Big Beef. And whoever our opponents are, are just meat in our teeth. Two of the toughest individuals to ever step foot in OVW, let alone hold the Tag Team Championship. You got to wonder. I mean, I know the Outrunners, they're, they're two of my favorites. And you see that... Uh, God only knows what it is Basham has them doing. Basham's got them chasing chickens, doing the whole bit, working on their dexterity. I get it, but what's it going to take? These two are not chickens, though. These two are Ragnarok incarnate. Big Zoe and Big Beep are two dangerous men that have been paired together in an unstoppable force. Maximo nearly broke his forearm on the jaw of Big Zoe. Oh, but look at that. Zoe just clubbing him down. Zoe showing no ill effects from that at all. If you, can see, you can't see it on the camera right now, but the look on the face of Maximo's partner tells the tale of somebody who does not want to get inside the ring. I mean, do you blame him? I mean, look at Big Beef and Gnarls Garvin. Oh, look at Big Evan. Zoe. My God. Separately, they're intimidating. They're absolute wrecking balls. Together, they're damn near unstoppable. Oh, Zoe with a kick to the ear of Maximo Suave as he tagged oh. out. And what a beautiful suplex as Beef just heaves him over. You got to wonder, when, when Vest and Suave got, to Suave got to TV tonight and they saw across on the call sheet there that they were facing the Tag Team Champions, you know, they got excited for the concept of facing the champs, but at the same time, how nervous were they? Well, give them credit for not snatching their bags and leaving the arena. Well, hold on, Zoe about to throw Maximo out of the arena. Big peel throw, tossing him across the ring. I tagging mean, in AJ Vest now. Maybe they should have. Maybe they should have. Now, guys, looking maybe forward to July 6th, Independence Rage. The, ooh, the Destroyers will defend their OVW Tag Team Championships against the Outrunners. Look, so just wipes out AJ Vest. You know, that handsome young man is not going to be very handsome anymore after that. Big as though we've been talking about the power, but it's the agility of these guys, too. They can hit you from literally any direction. And, and they will. Oh, my God. Good <laughs> Lord. And very hard. Very, very hard. AJ Vest almost cutting a flip off that double shoulder tackle. And now Beef with a double underhook. Oh, Textbook. My Butterfly oh, suplex out of Big Beef. You guys, camera did not catch him. You can see the eyes of AJ Vest when he got locked. Oh, hold on. Eyes bulging out of this young man's head. And oh my God, shoulder blades might be bulging out after that. I tell you what, the Destroyers get more and more violent and destructive every single week. It's like an evolution in pain. And you, you know Doug Basham, one of the greats in all of professional wrestling, training the Outrunners. You know they're watching this match. What are they going to do in the future to train? They, I mean, they've got a match coming up against the champs here. Oh, now bad intentions in mind from the Destroyers. AJ Vest gets out. Oh, he, Maximo he, Suave gets his face rearranged. You have to admire the bravery. And Maximo Suave for getting in the ring while both Destroyers were oh, in there no, taking no, no. the tag. Hang on. How on collision. Probably regretting that decision now. Double wide from the champions. That's got to be it for poor Maximo Suave. The Outrunners are looking at an apocalypse standing in the ring right now, and they have to face them next week at Independence Rage. <laughs> Boys. Victory is yours. Sweet victory! Now it's we time to be victorious with championship titles. Rising up! Let's have a back drink. To our feet. I am the Tiger Turbo. I am the oh tiger. yeah! Dreamboats are back! Yeah, yeah! We did it! Check the chasers with yeah. the OVW yes. Tag Team Champs! What? Here you go, boys! Yeah. Oh, duh. Yeah. Thank you so Here much. Here we go. Here we go. Hold it in, drink it, drink it, swallow. swallow. <laughs> what is this? That is gross. That's speed ah. juice. That's speed that juice. I can taste the salmonella. I <laughs> clearly preparing themselves for Independence Rage, guys. They're ready for July 6th. You're I guess. Drinking eggs? Like, what has Basham got them doing? Really strong. I mean, we gotta trust the Bash Man, right? We're supposed to trust the Bash Man. Who else trusts the Bash Man? Probably. 
But he mentioned it just Independence Rage right here next week, Thursday, July 6th. Very limited tickets available. Be sure to go to ovwrestling.com and get those tickets because it will sell out. But Josh, we have got a huge main event to talk about. We have, for the first time ever, Crixus, the Hood Ninja, Isaiah, going one-on-one -on -one in the main event here tonight. Folks, you're not going to miss that. You're not going to want to miss next Saturday. We'll make our way to Mount Sterling, Kentucky. You're not going to miss wrestling for a great cause when we team up with Recovery Moco. But guys, so much action tonight to get to before we get to anything next week. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com It's free! Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. Hey, let me help you out here, huh? You in a hurry? Where are you headed to? You gonna go umpire a baseball game? What did you talk about last week? Last week when you came to the ring and disrespected me. This is your one and only chance to offer an apology. I'm willing. I'm willing to listen. Let's hear it. Come on. What you got? You want an apology? Yes. I'll tell you what. Let's go out to the ring and I'll apologize to you right now. Okay, we'll no, go no, out no, to no, the no, ring. No. We were in the ring last well, week. Well, let me handle this. Look, last week you laid your hands on the World Heavyweight Radio Champion and you called Adam Ray Bob or something on live TV that you can't say. You can't say that word. So I'm going to teach you a word that I rarely say, but you're going to say it right now. Sorry. Let's hear it. Let's hear Sorry. It. You can say Don't it. You want? Yeah. You know what? You know why you're such a good DJ? Because you have a face for radio. And I tell you what, you want an apology? Come outside to the parking lot. That's where I'll be at. I'm not going to a park. He doesn't line. realize what he just did. He is going to pay. You don't cross the faction. He's about to find out why. Introducing first from the the to the That guy, Donovan Cecil, one of the most powerful men in the OVW locker room and Kentucky's strongest man in action here tonight, Brian. Impressive list of names already, but let's add OVW alumni, OVW Academy standout, the mammoth Donovan Cecil, a man who rocketed onto the scene after being trained by some of the best in the sport. There's a big ass rocket. While Donovan Cecil has the power advantage here tonight, the experience advantage, that edge goes to elusive Eric Darkstorm, a 20 plus year veteran of the business of sports of professional wrestling. You know he's got a few tricks up his sleeve to negate that power of Donovan Cecil. You're absolutely right. He's the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat of the streets. Streetboat, if you will. Eric Darkstorm has seen it all and done it all, went up against it all, and always finds a way to come out on top. Donovan Cecil, while imposing, while powerful, is not something that Eric Darkstorm hasn't run into before. And guys, Darkstorm in the best shape of his career right now himself. You call him elusive. He's going to need to be real, real elusive in there tonight against the mammoth Donovan Cecil. Darkstorm, his game plan here tonight is going to have to be to stay out of arm's reach and hit and run on Donovan Cecil. Darkstorm gonna have to employ his experience here as the advantage over Donovan Cecil. Donovan Cecil just too strong. He's like fighting a boulder. 
I, mean, Dar I don't know why I'd fight a boulder, but Darstrom now locking up and tries to go for that hip toss. Immovable like a boulder. Oh, he looked that, but a boulder doesn't hit you like that. Good Lord, that rock you. Not unless it comes off the top of Mount Everest. Darkstorm now taking a second in the corner. And listen to the crowd. The crowd getting behind Darkstorm as of late. And he's going to need every ounce of what the crowd can give him here tonight against the big man. Darkstorm having his issues with Adam Revolver over the last couple of weeks, guys. So taking some disrespect from the bald wonder of the faction. Well, he's obviously the one who's been disrespectful. Oh, look at Darkstorm trying to lift Donovan. I mean, I'll give Dark credit. He's been working out in the gym, but Cecil with ease just scooping up a grown man. Huge scoop slam from Donovan Cecil. And guys, Darkstorm is a former multi time OVW tag team champion. It's a big opportunity for Donovan to prove himself here. Oh, God. But there's where that streets comes back in. Darkstorm with just right hands to the jaw. Donovan Cecil. Oh, nobody home. And, oh, Darkstorm finding a way to get the big man reeling here, but can he keep applying the pressure? Striking up, striking down, doing what he can. And the big man with a huge boot almost. Oh, man. That sounded like two cars colliding on 65. That'll separate your shoulder in a heartbeat. It's over it's about 250 pounds of man running into Donovan Cecil and getting nowhere. Like an ineffective battering ram. Eric Darkstrom now again ducks under. Donovan Cecil, though, goes for a super kick to the midsection. Oh, Cecil eats a back elbow. There's that kick. Darkstorm now continuing to find open his big power slam. What a low power slam. You see, he had to use Donovan Cecil's own momentum against him to get so much torque there. How in the hell did he get the big man up like that? Shining Wizard lays out two. Man. Eric Darkstorm got him. It's like magic. Oh, hold on, what the hell? Oh, come on. Revolver attacking Darkstorm from behind. We mentioned their issues over the last couple of weeks. Come on, what the hell is even the point oh, of this? Now Shannon the douche getting involved with some stomps. What the hell are these fans billing for? That are two members of the faction. Well, Revolver just shoving down an official. Are you kidding me? Well, he was getting in the way. We blindsided Eric Darkstorm, hit him right in the base of the skull. And now look at this, Revolver with that sleeper hold, trying to cut off the oxygen to the brain of Eric Darkstorm. Revolver locking in that sleeper, and no one out here to help Darkstorm. Uh, but this is what he gets for what? disrespecting Adam Revolver, for disrespecting the faction. And of course, he doesn't have a damn friend in the locker room now. Will but... you stop? This is just a blindside attack on a man who would just finished a match, was clearly exhausted after fighting Kentucky's strongest you man. You call it blindside, I call it calculated. I call it cowardice. Well, Eric Darkstorm is out. I'm real proud of yourself, Adam Revolver. Real big, strong man. You know, if Brad Shannon wears yellow, the color suits him. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. Want to raise money for your school, club, or organization? You can bring the action-packed excitement of OVW to your town. Oh! Email info at ovwrestling.com today to find out more. High school athletic departments, police and fire departments, sports teams, civic groups, or any group wanting to raise money can bring the superstars of OVW to town for a night of hard-hitting, oh! high-flying, action-packed excitement. Welcome to OVW. Bring the superstars of tomorrow to your town. Champion. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, absolutely, sir. Why? Anything for you, sir. 
EC3 making Please, his way out you. here to the desk. Steve. Steve gonna hold the, the NWA National Heavyweight Championship. He'll pawn and take that, I promise. He doesn't wash his hands, it's, I hope you know that. He's gonna pawn that, I'm warning you right now. EC3 joining us out here at commentary, but... A little chit chat. Am I the greatest living professional wrestler alive, but also one heck of a commentator? Let's call the action. I guess we're about to, to find out. EC3 joining us out here for this hour's main event. The following contest is a non title match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from the west side of the bill, the Hood Ninja. They are, they say, uh, the, the Hood Ninja, former Rush Mission champion, making his way out here. But okay, EC3, thank you for joining us. But yeah, I gotta ask if it's the question on everybody's mind what the hell are you doing out here? Well, what am I doing out here is I'm here to call the action, I'm here to help mold the future of OVW. I'm here to commentate, critique, pick apart this uh, this title match, right? This title match, right? No, this non title match, yeah, up here. Up okay. Well, this match from is Glasgow, Scotland. He is the country boy brewing Kentucky heavyweight champion, the Scottish war machine, Crimson! I'll say the girth and the width of Isaiah's beads. Very, very thick. Those Kuma beads given to Isaiah by his trainer, the master, the sensei, American kickboxer. Isaiah wears them with pride. Just like Bricks is carries around that Kentucky Country Boy Brewing Heavyweight Championship with Brian. A championship named after a brewery after one of the, like, the 37th best state in the union. It, our, our friends at Country Boy sponsored the Kentucky Heavyweight Championship proudly, and they have for You're great, buddy. almost two years now. And Bricks is, as you mentioned, Josh, a proud and fighting champion. And last week, almost defeated a member of the faction and became a double champion when he faced off a Shira. Yeah, almost. Keyword almost. See, the real reason I'm out here is the attraction has been missing. The faction without me, it goes. Oh, we got a cover here. Oh, here we go. Pin attempt. One one count there. I trying to get a quick pin on Crixus. Without my presence, without my guidance, without my leadership, and without my hot, hot bod, you know, the faction just isn't the same. And when Jesse's here, like, yeah, he's the national champion. I get that. But I am the real national champion. I am the leader of the faction because I am the attraction. Okay, and that leads you. Again, I'm still oh, confused. Hold on, your motor's here. Hold on. Oh, here Sunset Flip Jose using that agility. Taking, hey, taking Quixus off his feet twice. Pretty impressive. I'll give the uh, the hood. The, the hood, hood ninja. The hood. I, I don't like saying words like that. Now, now we got ninja, a real. studies ninjutsu, like legit. A classic speed versus power struggle here. Jose obviously gonna have that agility, but guys, you can't take anything away from that explosive speed of Crixus either. You know, I was trying to get some words with the, the hood uh, ninja in the back, and he doesn't really talk too much. No, Isaiah He's not a real Shady Cathy. Oh, Isaiah good luck, does guys. not talk much at all. Isaiah prefers to do a lot of his talking in the ring. I can guarantee you that one. Yeah, and I tried to get words with Crixus, but his breath, it was just, I mean, potent. Oh, come on. I mean, Crixus. Chris is now overpowering Isaiah, backing him down into the corner. Look at Isaiah. Well, he didn't back him down at all. Isaiah walking up the uh, corner and comes back down, uh, takes Crixus over. Now but that, that was, that was elbow. intricate. That, that was very unique. You been look at him there holding on that call and elbow tie up, still locked in tight here. Neither this, man wants to give an inch, Brian. You know, this is what you like to see, though. OVW, classic catches catch can wrestling competition as fine as two men locked up in the fight, the nitty gritty, working it till one man gives up. And oh, now look at this, both men going down, not wanting to let go know. of that collar and elbow tie up, just dragging each other through the ropes. And that's, the, physics and that's the thing, guys. First time ever with these two, they don't know what to expect from the other competitors, so they're trying to buy their time and Ooh. buying their time they are with this collar and elbow tie up. You know, you gotta question Crix's strength. He's obviously outweighs this guy. He's a lot stronger than this guy. Well, that's the thing. Isaiah, yeah. he's, he's so tall, he gets that wide base. It's hard to take him down, take him know. over. It's like Crixus is inebriated with uh, bad luck right now. I think it's also that that that, that pinpointing accuracy of Isaiah as well, knowing exactly where to wedge in to get that advantage. They're bringing it back in the ring. You'd love both, to see it. Both men collapsing back down, but coming up. 
to a knee, neither wanting to give an inch in this. Now this, this collar and elbow type, we're gonna come in more of a collar and elbow fusion at this point. These two just stuck together, there and hold on, is. now a little bit of distance. There it is. Crixus finally uses that size to drive Isaiah back into the corner. Charges in, but high, wow, throws a elbow. back elbow up. Ninja special. You gotta wonder how much energy did these guys exert just trying to one-up each other in that collar and elbow tie-up. Oh, nobody home there. Ooh. And Hodge oh, and Hodge just laced him with a straight left. Swing first, ask no questions. I dig that. Isaiah outsmarted Crixus there, made the champion pay. You gotta think a big win here for Isaiah puts him right into title contention. For that Isaiah walking the ropes. Yeah, yeah, he might have a chance to win, but I, I foresee another result. Oh, snap! What a blockbuster from that top! Ooh. Move an old school blockbuster Cover. there. Beautiful. Ooh. Just one count run. only. Crixus is strong. You know uh, what? I I I I gotta go. I just gotta go. What? I just got EC3 what are you, calling it what are a day. Doing? I don't know. Hold on. What the hell? EC3 is just slid in the ring. What the hell is going on here? Oh, EC3 just backed Isaiah. He's just now lighting Isaiah up in the corner. EC3 just ran in the ring and attacked Isaiah. Now hold on. Luke Curtis, the rest of the faction emptying out into the ring. What is happening right now? There is no need for this. It's a damn mugging. The gang is out here laying the boost to Isaiah oh, and Crixus. This is the third attack of the evening. You've got to be and kidding me. Isaiah trying to get to Crixus, trying to help out, but just be cut off yet again by D Faction, Steve. And if you've noticed, guys, they've attacked every opponent what is, last week of Sears last week. Where the hell cash do you flow. think you're going? What the hell is happening here? Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. What a sick of fans, Steve, and what a ridiculous, pathetic sight. The faction, again. Oh, hold on. Al Snow making his way out. They're gonna try to get things in order, but... Oh, not him again. Now, Chris is up to his feet. Joe Mack just slinging him over the top rope. Shannon, the dude demanding a microphone. Please no one give it to him. I was driving home from practice, about to be a free agent, hopefully signing another multi-year deal in the NBA. And I remember seeing this car coming right towards me and a huge loud noise. I knew with my injuries that I wasn't gonna be able to play. Instead, I'm in the hospital looking at all these permanent injuries that I suffered. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life. And I never thought I'd retire at 31 years old. I knew if there was you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was gonna be Morgan and Morgan. It's crazy because basketball was always there for me. When something like this happened, they weren't and Morgan and Morgan was. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me and I'll never forget that. And Morgan & Morgan are unbelievable what they do. They're sharp, they're smart, they're professional. They'll do what's right for you. I'm Chandler Parsons and I chose Morgan & Morgan. There's an electricity in this building. We take what we want. Click. Oh, click. Welcome to OVW. Set the stipulation if Jack Vaughn were to make it through the Joe Mack Challenge, he'd face you for the National Heavyweight title. So tonight, it's Jack Vaughn versus Joe Mack. And if he loses, not only does he lose his thousand bucks, Jack Vaughn's got a shot at your National Heavyweight title. And Vaughn caught Goddard and on Mack from behind. It. Oh, Mack struck Goddard's quick roll up. Vaughn got the roll up on Mack. He did it. Elvin Gonza signed the contract with the Rush title, so Elvin Gonza is the Rush champion, not Luke Curtis. So I'm basically going to hold up the Rush title, and we're going to put it online July 6th at Independence Rage against Kyle Hero in a ladder match. Oshira, so proud, so beaming over what you did. Tonight, I'm going to make your night a living hell. I'm going to take the top contenders until I'm going to decide who gets to face you and who gets to face you next. And we're going to start with Matt Vine. Sky high out of Shira. That's it. You won. That's fantastic. You're going to face Luscious Lawrence next for the OVW title. He hit it. We got a new champion right here. Oh. Luke Curtis pulling the referee out of the ring. Adam Revolver. 
Sky high out of Shira. Shira capitalizing. Oh, come on. You've yet again succeeded in defending the title, and you two, get out of my building right now. But you might want to get to the back pretty quick and again lace up those boots because you're going to face Crixus next. Shannon the douche distracting the referee. Oh, and the low blow by Shira. Rolls him up after the low blow. I got one more for you. What? And I saved the best for last. Two time OVW Heavyweight yes. Champion Castle yes. Earl. Oh, and making the bail oh. line. With that empty sack of cash, Joe Mack just wasted by cash flow. Shira looking to win this one much. Oh, come on, come on. Cash kicks out. Cash the farmer's curse. Death Valley driver out of cash. Two count. Oh. Cash, we call him the incredible bulk for a reason. It's Jesse Gathers out here causing interference. Who has, there's El Snow. Sky high from Shira. That's got to be it. Jesse Goddard, get your foot off my commentator, Brian Kennison, this very second. Oh, 
Come Brian, on. Brian, get out of the ring. You did great, Bill. So let's go back to our negotiation, should we? You might not negotiate with terrorists, but your best course of action is to negotiate with the faction. Oh. That's great. You're a poet, and you didn't know it, but your feet show it, because you're, they're Longfellows. You want a tag match, Shira. I'm sure you want to get in the ring with someone. I have no question or doubt about that. I mean, considering what happened last week after Cash became the new OVW Heavyweight Champion. something clear this ain't a jungle it's a ring and it's my ring and old Luke Curtis El Venganza I'm sure you'd like to step in the ring with somebody in particular because next week at Independence Rage we're gonna hang that Rush Division title high above the ring to where the only way you can get to it is on a ladder and you're gonna have to face Cal Hero to do that so I'll tell you what, EC3, the new leader of the faction. The faction. I'll tell you what, tonight for the main event, I'll put Cash Flow and I'll put Cal Hero in a tag match against Luke Curtis and Shira right here tonight. Damn right, serves <laughs> well. Raise up your boots, boys. Screw it, put me in the match. I don't care. These guys deserve every bit of it. <laughs> Huge tag team match for our main event later tonight. Luke Curtis, Mahapali Shira going against Cal Hero and the OBW Heavyweight Champion, Cash Flow. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com It's free! Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. And now, the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. Last week, I came out here and I beat Crixus. You know, I thought, I thought those Scottish men, I thought they were supposed to be badasses. I thought they were supposed to be brave. Crixus, the only thing you're showing me is that you're nothing but a coward. Hang on, Cecil's got him up for that extinction level event. Uh, Tony Evans rolls him through here. Evans, Evans got a handful of tights. That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money, all of the money. Support, I think, his Rust Division brethren tonight. Come out here. All right. You to come over here. No, oh, Manny Domingo, join Go us away, on commentary. Steve. No one wants you, no one needs you. Manny Domingo is here. 
Diego, welcome to the boost, brother. The following contest is a tag team at Central Fall. Introducing first, the team of the future, Will Austin, and the star of the show, Star Rider. Manny Domingo joining us here ringside. What a pleasant surprise for the Latino. Who can a go-go? The king of the 450 out here. And man, I gotta ask, are you out here to support Star Rider and Will Austin, two men you've been developing a relationship with as of late? Yes, I am. I'm here to support them. But sabes que? Have you noticed how we've been working as a team? I mean, I mean, of course, things aren't gonna work out well in the beginning because of the fact that we're all in the rush division. We're all we're well, you know, Manny, that's we're, the thing, man. We, I, I we, think it's great that, that you guys have... Why is he throwing stuff? I think it's what? great that you guys have managed to somewhat put your differences aside and really start to kind of build some cohesion. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but like, we're, we're all going to be against each other no matter what. We all are going against a Rush Vision title. But the thing is, we all, just, we all end up having things in common. And we have to end up working together great. Well, you know, and that's something that I've found over my career. Sometimes the people that you fight the hardest against are some of the ones that you work best with. As you see Star Rider taking over, uh, Paul Hubris there. Well, let me ask you, man. I mean, you, got, you three have seen a little adversarial in the beginning, but it seems like you guys almost push each other to be better, to go that extra level. You have to. I mean, <sighs> these guys, are they, they kind of see themselves as leaders, and I mean, I'm all up for that, but maybe later down the future. Oh. Right now, these guys can be a little hot-headed. So, I mean, right now, I kind of see myself as a leader because of more experience I have. Oh. But these guys have are very athletic. They're great. All three of you great superstars. Honestly, since you've been together, it seems like you kicked into a new gear. A real steel, sharpened steel, sir. So now you guys can all make each other better by being your best. Well, and, you know, let's, let's just call it what it is, Manny. It's anything you can do, I can do a little bit better sometimes. And it's it's in a good way. It's in a fun way. It can be in a fun way. I mean, but like I said, these guys can be a little hot-headed, but, but like I said, they're great. You're seeing that hot-headedness working together right now. Will Austin and Star Rider not quite getting along. Allows Simsay to get that kick in there. I mean, if we, 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 Paul if we just work together, I mean, stop competing against each other, like I feel like that's what's happening right now. I mean, we could do a lot more. And again, look at and this. Look, there's, there's, there's the showboat, the thing that I was that, telling that you about. They can get hot -headed. They can get hot-headed with each other. And Josh, I think you said it perfect earlier. I, whatever you do, I can do better. And you see Star Rider literally telling Will Austin that right now, but also distracting himself. Oh, and right that's what happens when you get distracted with yourself Star or with each other. Elbow. And you're right. You know, Star Rider and Will Austin, they both have that kind of cocky, arrogant personality. You're more grounded, Manny. Do you think that, that the three of you being together, you can be more of a grounding force to, to really get you guys on the oh same page? Oh, my God! We can. Speaking of ungrounded, Paul Huber's going to kick out of his boost after that drop kick from Star Rider. Now Star Rider taking control over Paul Huber. He's got that arm. And, Manny, let me ask you this. In these sorts of situations, do, do the three of you, do you develop a game plan? Before you go out, are you trying to, to get an idea together of what you can... Oh! Oh! God. The innovative Dude, offense to, there by Paul Huber To win the match. I mean, we have to. Like I said, you got to keep these guys together. I mean, I got to bring the peace between us. And like I said, I mean, they're they're great athletes. They are. And But the showboat, the hothead, it's you got to keep it together. Otherwise, things like this would happen. They lose focus in the match. Did you guys talk at all before this tag team matchup here tonight? Yes, we did. We actually did oh. talk. Simsay up and over oh. right into that drop kick from Will Austin. Caught him midair. Man, mid -air. that was beautiful. Good Lord. Simsay's own momentum used against him there. He might have a cracked rib or hell, a crushed rib at this point. Uh, That's Will right, guys. Teamwork, teamwork. Will Austin literally saying, show me something. I don't know if I call that teamwork as a challenge, Manny. He want to show him something. Well, Star Rider's going to show him a Molly Pay attention to what's going on there. Pay attention. Pay. Oh, oh come, come on. You see that? You see, this is what I have to deal with as well. But that's disrespectful. Is, is that how you treat your... Well, is that the way you treat your tag team partner? You guys have become quite the trio. Is that the way team, you treat your tag team partner? Will Austin distracting now Star Rider. The disrespect Rider also I got to put up with. It's like children. Yeah, you shouldn't have to take things like that, Manny. But Star Rider, he's in a bad way right now. Simsay and Paul Hubris are completely just decimating hey, Star Rider. Hey, what's going corner. on in there? 
Will is not doing anything to help his partner's cause. This ring has been cut in half, and Star Rider has been isolated by Simsei and Paul Hubris. You guys, Simsei is a man who's been a three-time American Ninja Warrior competitor. He is not a man to sleep on. He's quick. He's dangerous. He, he is, and I've been in the ring with him. He is dangerous. What a knee strike out of Star Rider. That could shift the momentum here. Star Rider, though, has got to get to his corner after all that damage he took. Can he get to Will Austin? Can he make the tag here? Come on, Star Rider. Sim gets the tag and so does Star. Go. Here we go, two fresh men. Will Austin now full head of steam. Big clotheslines taking down Paul. Will Austin, all the tools in the shed to be a main eventer here. Nice. Big power nice. slam. Will Austin, so talented. He's got everything you could want in a wrestler, but right now not paying attention. Hang on, waist lock. Oh, look Ooh. at that. Beautiful double team maneuver. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Wow. Holy schnitzel, what Man, a German. That's the way I see it. One team, one dream. German it suplex dropping Simsei right on the top of his head. Ooh. Shotgun drop kick out of Star Rider. Since Will Austin and Star Rider have been on the same page these last 30, 45 seconds, they have been on fire, just unstoppable. Hang on, hang on, Star go. Rider. Going finish up. him off, finish him That's off. Star nice. Killer double stomp. Straight through the chest of Paul Hubris. That's and it. Solo. That's all she wrote. Big win from your pal, you, Star you Rider Will Austin. Keep heads together, otherwise. No, that's great, Manny. Yo, what a win for this tag team, these two guys. You guys are all getting on the same page. But yes, can they stay are. on that page? When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. Want to raise money for your school, club, or organization? You can bring the action-packed excitement of OVW to your town. Oh! Email info at ovwrestling.com today to find out more. High school athletic departments, police and fire departments, sports teams, civic groups, or any group wanting to raise money can bring the superstars of OVW to town for a night of hard-hitting, oh! high-flying, action-packed excitement. Welcome to OVW. Bring the superstars of tomorrow to your town. And now, the Wix Pizza Rewind. Hey. Home strike, backhand, and a super kick. The fallen out here. PJ Jones now cowering, hiding behind the referee. Well, hold on, what? The fallen scooping out the legs of Shalance. Or just pulling Shalance out of the ring. That was the Wix Pizza Rewind. Wix Pizza on Baxter Avenue and Hikes Lane in Louisville. I will introduce my client, the greatest OVW women's champion this company has ever seen. Get off your feet, show some respect no. for the queen of OVW, Shalance Royale.
over. The big glasses, the jacket, like I dress the same way. It's allergies. She's got real bad allergies. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the challengers here. Here's another challenger for the championship next week at Independence Rage, Shauna Reed. Dark Witch of the Fall and making her way out here. Guys, I was gonna wonder, do we have a pen filled with blood? Because that's what I imagine. Let's the way she signs these contracts, this hell demon. She doesn't need a pen. She has the blood of her opponent, right? Oh, here they go. Fight. The jacket fight. Do we have to get that piped into our headset each time she sings? I'm so thankful. The women's champion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the contract. Ah, look, get, you're not needed here. Go, go away. I'll handle this. Get out. Get, go. Hey, get out of here, Cornish. Get. You're not a lawyer. He's just trying to add this to his hour, billable hours. You know that. Smart man. next week at Independence Rage. We're gonna have ourselves a three-way dance. And I'm gonna dumb this down so you two can understand. My clash lines, they already knows, but I'll, I'll talk slow for you, because you look confused, Grimace. I'll tell you. What's gonna happen is, since Shauna is the number one contender, but since you, this slimy hood rat here, stole the belt from my client, Shalance, she has a rematch clause. Don't act like you're confused. You, you, you are dumber than that sack of rocks you hit her with, all right? Everyone here knows it. So we're gonna have ourselves a three-way dance, and this is what's gonna happen. Shut up, let me explain the match. Yeah, 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 whatever. Since we have two number one contenders, the match will start with both number one contenders, and they will wrestle for a predetermined time limit. And if there is a pinfall, the loser is eliminated. But if the, after that time limit is up, the fake champion, the fake champion will join the match facing either one or both competitors. Does that make sense? You got, you got that over there, Evil Dead? You got it? You look blank. Let's go ahead and sign this contract right here. I know you know where to sign, because you're, you're very smart, you see? Let me explain it to you. You gotta put your name, you can put an X if you don't know how to spell your own name, I, I get it. And you look like you're in a hurry, like you need to go to a gas station and bump some cigarettes. But listen, just sign the contract. Just sign the contract. Sign the, do you know how to read? You can write? Oh, that's cool, you learned how to do that. Congratulations, good for you. You okay over there? You look a little blank. You all right there, huh? You gonna do it? You look like the cover of a Disturbed album. Album. Oh, wh I, I, are you so empty in the head? Huh, is there anything in there? Sign it, Evil Dad, let's do something. Come on, sign the contract. Sign it on the dotted line. It's not that complicated. Sign hey, get off my hand, get off my hand. Wait, let go. <laughs> 
I was driving home from practice, about to be a free agent, hopefully signing another multi-year deal in the NBA. And I remember seeing this car coming right towards me and a huge, loud noise. I knew with my injuries that I wasn't gonna be able to play. Instead, I'm in the hospital looking at all these permanent injuries that I suffered. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life. And I never thought I'd retire at 31 years old. I knew if there was, you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was going to be Morgan & Morgan. It's crazy because basketball was always there for me. When something like this happened, they weren't, and Morgan & Morgan was. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me, and I'll never forget that. And Morgan & Morgan are unbelievable what they do. They're sharp, they're smart, they're professional. They'll do what's right for you. I'm Chandler Parsons, and I chose Morgan & Morgan. And now, the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. Vaughn, though, now actually up to the top rope. Oh, my God! What a diving shoulder block! But now look at Shannon the Douche again. Oh, hold on. Where the Jesse Goddard's out here. But Vaughn caught oh, him! Max struck Goddard's! Jack now, quick roll up! Vaughn got the roll up on Mac. He did it! That was the OVW Gorilla Bob's Grub Shack Attack of the Week. It's love in your mouth. Folks, welcome back to OVW. Sorry, guys, right? I'm still recovering from Adam Revolver. The, the factions attack really, but you know what? It's almost main event time. And those guys are going to get theirs. But guys, we are rocketing towards Independence Ridge on July 6th. You're fine. You're going to be OK. It was just, he, he barely touched you. All barely right. put his foot on All your right, throat. All right, Pencil Neck. Josh, Ryan, you tell the folks what they can expect July 6th in Independence Rage. July 6th, Independence Rage. We have the OVW Tag Team Championships on the line when the Outrunners challenge the Destroyers that night. And what, what is the Bash Man got them doing? They're chasing chickens, drinking eggs? What is this, a little movie? Whoever's doing, they're trying to get their groove back, much like Stella. But guys, let's not forget about Cal Hero and Luke Curtis in a ladder match for that OVW Rush Division Championship. Al Snow said Ben Gonzo won that championship, so now it is held up, but we will have a new champion guaranteed at Independence Rage. But Steve, that's not all women's championship all the way. You're absolutely right. We just saw it right before the break. It will be a three-way dance. Elimination rules between Shalance Royale, the OVW Women's Champion Haley J, and the Fallen Shauna Reed. You're absolutely right. Let's not forget about the Soul Survivor Tournament. We're going to have five matches that night. Each member of the faction will face an opponent. The winners of those matches will go on to the final matchup where all will be eliminated. Guys, you're not going to want to miss the Soul Survivor Tournament, the Women's Championship, the Rush Vision Championship, the Tag Team Championship, and all the fireworks contained within Independence Rage. Tickets, they're on sale at ovwrestling.com. But you know what? Guys, I think we got an explosion or two more to get through tonight, but there's only one woman who can get us on that road. Linda McKay, my ma'am. Tell them who's fighting. You've got it, Brian. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled only for I one ball. can make you certify, certify, certify. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the radio heavyweight champion, Shannon the Dude. From Miami, Florida, certified Luke Curtis! When we saw this at the beginning of the show, the faction out here causing chaos, demanding things from Al Snow, and Al said, you know what? You want a tag team match? Fine. I'll give you a tag team match. Luke Curtis, Shira, you're taking on Cal Hero and Cash. Well, that is hardly fair. That is not the two men that they wanted to face. Thank you for recapping.
Captain. I was kind of blacking out at the time because they attacked Sorry, me. Buddy. No, so I'm glad you filled me in on what I missed when I was writhing in pain on the freaking floor. You can shut your mouth, Steve. Yeah, it's your best friend since Joe. Gotcha. I've seen him in worse positions with his life. And his tag team partner from India, he is the Indian Lion. about Independence Rage this upcoming July the 6th here at the Davis Arena. We're talking about Rage, the unbridled Rage coming out of Mahabali Shira earlier tonight. We have one pissed off Indian Lion feeling that he was screwed, and I agree, out of his OVW Heavyweight Championship last week. The Lion absolutely burying his fangs tonight. But guys, you notice in the intro from Linda Kay, OVW's not heavyweight champion anymore. You notice that little part missing. He's not OVW heavyweight champion. Cash flow is. And now these two get to run in with the new champion here in just a moment. Shira a little hot earlier tonight. A little hot under the collar. Looking to take out his aggression on these two. And their opponents first from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. W's fanny pack hero, Cal Hero, making his way out here for this main event. No stranger to DC Productions' bright lights when they shine the brightest in the main event, but guys, he's in there with the lion showing his fangs with the hungry Luke Curtis. Cash is king. And his tag team partner from South of Wall Street, Either they love Cash Flow, our new OVW Heavyweight Champion, or they're begging for a chopped salad. But this crowd does not look hungry, except for hungry for destruction. Shira, Luke Curtis are in for an absolute battle tonight. And look at this, no fear whatsoever from Cal Hero and Cash Flow as they take the center of the ring and assert their dominance over the faction Thank you. for the belt. Thank you very Shut much. Up. And let's not forget, guys, both men, former OVW Tag Team Champions, Cal Hero and Cashflow, well-versed in tag team wrestling, Steve. You hear the crowd very, very firmly behind the proprietor of the Chop Shop and your OVW Heavyweight Champion. But you gotta wonder, Cal Hero, only seven days away from his ladder match against the man standing on the opposite side of the ring for him for his chance at the Rush Division Championship. This main event is going to be huge. Cashflow and Shira, both part of that Soul Survivor Tournament. Well, we know Shira is Cashflow. You have to assume begging OVW management, biting at the hip to be part of that matchup. But we'll find out next Thursday all the entrants. Wants to do what he can to get his hands on the faction. Or at least one of them. And I think he wants to be a chop. Luke Curtis gonna start out with Cal Hero, the man he'll face for the Rush Division Championship next Thursday. This crowd coming alive for their panty pack hero. And oh, Crow Hero out the gate with a vicious shoulder block. Luke Curtis cannot get back to his corner quick enough. Well, and Curtis gets back over there. Cal realizing that's enemy territory, not going to be baited in by Luke Curtis. And then you see Mahabali Shira not blinking, staring a hole right through Cal all the way to the OVW champion. Here's the thing, guys. Cal Hero is in trouble in there with Mahabali Shira. Shira wants to hurt someone tonight. It's not about championships or pay windows. Oh, look at that, cash flow. Shira wants cash. Cash says, let's do it. Shira, he doesn't want Cal. 
He was the man who took his OVW Heavyweight Championship. He wants his pound of flesh after what happened last week. I think he's about to get a lot more than a pound. Cash flow, Shira, eyes locked on one another in this main event. Well, here oh, we go. Shira fires off a kick as Cash goes to try to tie up with him. Okay. Cash not taken kindly, Brian. Oh, hits him with that second clothesline, takes Shira off his feet. Guys, there are very few men in any locker room that can take Shira off his feet. Cash Flow did it almost immediately. Shira to the outside of the ring. Smart move by the former champ. Catch your breath. This main event rolls on, folks. Do not go anywhere. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. It's free! Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling brand. Folks, welcome back. This crowd is gonna blow the roof off of Davis Arena tonight. Cal Hero just took it to Shira. It's been all nonstop action during the break, back and forth. Cal trying to get the better of Luke Curtis. Cash absolutely beating the brakes off of Mahabali Shira. I hope nobody here works on the customer service line because they're all going to be hoarse tomorrow. Both Cal Hero and Cash Flow. Every sneaky trick in the book, what? every dastardly deed. You just so happened to miss it. It was during the commercial oh, break. Will you but stop? I You're Who's an there? idiot. It's on the record. Mahabali Shira catches Cal Hero coming in and just starts to light him up with forearm strikes. Cal Hero now in a bad corner here. Got the ring cut in half to Shira and Luke Curtis. And hold on, what a double team maneuver here. I don't even know if Luke knew that was coming. Shira just flung him. And Shira, hold on, oh. being flung by Curtis. Oh, you're talking about not knowing it was coming. Cal Hero just got blindsided by that clothesline. Referee Daniel Spencer understands how important this match is to OVW. A little well, bit. Oh, no, big suplex. Count. And oh, look at Cal, got suplexed right into Cash, able to get the tag. Luke Curtis did not see that coming. Curtis screwed up, he threw Cal too close to his own corner, and now Cal taking a breather as Luke Curtis gets his head bounced off that top turnbuckle. Come on, ref, get in there and do something. Get in there and don't stop it. Watch and enjoy, that's what we're doing. Luke Curtis <laughs> swinging for nothing, loses his balance, and hold on, Cash will go for the pin here. The two Curtis count. Kicks out. Two count there, but Cash Flow, he's got Luke Curtis in a bad way and right where he wants him. Hush. Oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's, that's Tony Evans. That's the crowd calling for it. Oh, Luke Curtis, guys, desperately getting out of dodge. Right in the nick of time. Once again, Luke Curtis scampering away from Cash Flow. Run as fast as you can. Run, Forrest, run. But making Cash Flow make a mistake, making him play his game is Luke Curtis. Hold on, though. Curtis can't overpower cash flow here. Yeah, you're not gonna win that battle, bud. Curtis gets his skull cracked yet again, and in comes the fanny pack, man, the, the leader of the fanny pack party, this Cal Hero. This crowd's fanny pack hero, Cal in there, and hold on, double team maneuver on Luke Curtis. Now Curtis being isolated by Cash and Cal. Luke Cal. Curtis on the wrong end of the ring, needs to get a tag into Mahabali Shira with the quickness. You can bank on Cal Hero because there's always cash in the fanny pack. And right now, look at that stall suplex from Cal Hero. Cal going for the cover. Luke smartly rolls over to his chest to avoid it. Not even letting his shoulders touch the mat. That's the sign of a true champion. The crowd Sadistic hungry appearance. for violence. My saying goodness. break his arm. And Cal Hero trying to oblige. Well, Cal Hero doing damage to that arm to Luke Curtis. He keeps it up. Luke's not going to be able to climb that ladder next week. This is broken down into Roman Coliseum Whoa. fever pitch. 
Oh, there's a whole lot of cash coming at you. Luke Kurz might be losing that arm before that big ladder match. How the hell are you going to climb? Uh, these bloodthirsty OVW fans loving every second of it. Cash flow loving every second of it. Finally, getting a little bit of revenge on the faction after all the hell they've caused the entire OVW locker room, myself included. Cal gets the tag back in. And a shot right to the head of Luke Curtis. I mean, Brian, you got to admit, you had it coming. For getting in the ring? For doing what they asked me to do? My damn job? Yes. Now the crowd chanting Fanny Pack. Cal with the gut wrench. Up and down goes Curtis. Two count there. You saw Sheer, though, immediately in to break up that pin. He does not want this match to end without getting his hands on Cash again. How good would it feel for Cal Hero to get a win tonight over Luke Curtis ahead of their Rush Vision Championship match next week? I mean, for a man that celebrated his 21st birthday yesterday, oh, I would say it would have been a great birthday present, but look at this Mahabali Shira low bridge and Cal goes to the floor. What a rookie move. What a rookie move. Stumbled what? over his own feet, fell to the outside. What match are you watching? Shira now throwing Cal back in the outside. Luke Curtis back on the attack. Cover. Arrogant pin though there. Didn't go for the leg hook or anything. Got a two count. Cal immediately up and reaching for his corner. Only a one count that time. Cal Hero trying so desperately to get to the OVW Heavyweight Champion. You see the frustration start to build on the face of Luke Curtis. Doesn't want to find himself in the situation he was just moments ago at the Bay of Cal and Cash. Oh, and look at this now. Mahabali Shira just holding Cal back in the corner. Cash distracting the referee because he's trying to get in, but hurting his partner more than helping right now. Brilliant tag team wrestling by two of the brightest members of the faction. Hard buckle, Cal goes down. You guys, you gotta think Luke Curtis just definitely does not want to lose this matchup. He just got back in the faction, just got back in OVW as the rush champion. And now out there defending, standing up for the faction, Luke Curtis got a lot on the line in this. Well, a short-lived Rush Division Championship reign is Al Snow stripping Luke Curtis of the Rush Division Championship, saying Elvin Gonza signed that contract, so the title held up. That's what's leading us to next week, but the bad blood between Cash and Shira still boiling over from last week. And we see Mahabali Shira with one hand picking up Cal Hero. Oh my, such brute strength all by that, the Indian line. All the blood rushing to the head of Cal Hero. Now that big clothesline, the entire body of Shira dropping down on Cal Hero. The king of the jungle now with Cal Hero in the corner. Oh, huge elbow to Cashflow. Cheap shot at Cashflow, but took too much time. Allowed Cal to recover and shear it. Shear put the brakes on just, uh, just enough not to eat that post. But Cal with the super kick, taking the Indian Lion down to a knee. Cal and Luke Curtis now battling in the middle of the ring, but Cal Hero obviously had a size disadvantage when you're in there against the man the size of Shira. You can give it all the valiant effort you want there, Cal Hero, but you are in there with a superstar. Cal trying to fight out of that corner. He's in harm's way. Cal's got to reach. Cal reaching to his partner. This crowd cheering him on, coming alive, blowing the roof off of Davis Arena. Cal surviving, fighting out of this. 12 to 6 elbows to the back of the head of Mahabali Shira, ringing his bell. Cal has to take this advantage, this opportunity. Yeah, you gotta be impressed with Cal in there, hanging with Shira, the former OVW Heavyweight Champion, former National Heavyweight Champion. Oh, you see Hold Luke on. Curtis there. Wait a minute, what the hell? No, Come no, on no. now. Curtis, what are you doing? Curtis just pulling cash flow off the apron. Folks, don't go anywhere. This main event rolls on. Come on. When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home game back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. 
Want to raise money for your school, club, or organization? You can bring the action-packed excitement of OVW to your town. Oh! Email info at ovwrestling.com today to find out more. High school athletic departments, police and fire departments, sports teams, civic groups, or any group wanting to raise money can bring the superstars of OVW to town for a night of hard-hitting, oh! high-flying, action-packed excitement. Welcome to OVW. Bring the superstars of tomorrow to your town. Folks, welcome back to this main event. Lou Curtis and Shearer versus Cal here in Castro. This crowd on the edge of their seats and at the top of their lungs. Cal trying to dive, trying to make that tag to Cash. As you saw right before the break, Luke Curtis ripping cash flow off the apron. And Cal makes the tag! Breaking up that ankle lock. And look at Luke Curtis wanting no part of cash flow. The he terror in the face of Luke Curtis. Cash flow, a huge house of fire coming in. I, I, do you blame Luke Curtis for not wanting a part of him? Hell had no fury like a cash flow scorned. Now hold on. Oh my God, a pounce! What a pounce! Pounced him damn near out of the ring, damn near out of the arena. Please pounce him back to wherever he came from. A pounce from the OVW Heavyweight Champion sends Luke Curtis to the mat. Curtis in trouble now. What's, what's Shearer doing? Oh, Shearer. Mahabali Shearer with a cheap shot. Just attacking Cash from behind, sensing the end was near for Luke Curtis. And then Cal Hero, I don't know how much rest he's had there on the outside, but already back in the ring here, taking on Shearer. Well, this match is completely breaking down. Cal here now in the corner with Shira, and Shira turning around on Cal and Luke Curtis trying to hold Cashflow at bay, choking him in front of the ref. Head referee Daniel Spencer has his hands full here. All four men in the ring, not looking to get out anytime soon. Shira. Again, Spencer being lenient here. He knows what this means, Brian. But the referee not even seeing Shira choke out Cal on the other side of the ring. Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, oh Cal just used Cal, or Cash used Cal as a weapon. I, I, that's probably illegal. I'm gonna, where's the rule book? Drop kick right to the mouth of Mahabali Shira. Ah, Sends the former champion to the outside. Now cash flow alive and feeling it. Luke Curtis, don't turn around if you know what's good for you. Well, you hear it. The OVW faithful want it. Cash looking in to open up the doors of the chop shop. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Why did you turn around, Luke? <laughs> what a chop, certifiably painful. <laughs> Cash just chopping the soul out of the body of Luke Curtis. Good Lord. Luke Curtis' chest has to be on absolute fire right now. And Cal Hero now in looking to put his opponent for Independence Rage away. Cal. Hyping himself up, Fanny Pack knee! There's that FPK, Cash gets the tag! Cash flow up now. Payload! Cash flow all that way down on Kurtz, oh, what the hell? Wait the a faction, second, come on! The faction interrupting this main event again, making their presence felt, but come on! The faction once more out here in the ring, laying waste to everyone in their way. Yeah, bunch of pieces of trash. You can't do it on your own. You gotta be like a pack of hyenas and pick away at your enemies. You're a bunch of cowards. Revolver just driving shoulders now into the midsection of Cal in the corner. Once again, the faction ruining yet another great main event on OBW TV. Dude, when is this gonna end? And you bet every one of them sees the face of OBW CEO Al Snow in the face that they're punching in the middle of the ring. EC3 now taking over. Just and look at it, it's, it's taking four minutes, well, three and a half, you can't Shannon, to just, keep Cash down. Just despicable, and you look back, they attacked Matt Vine, Luscious Lawrence, Crixus, Isaiah, all these men laid at the feet of the faction, and for what? Because they're cowards? Because they're scared of competition? We have got to get some help out from the back. Can we get referees, officials, anybody, something? We can't keep ending OVW like this every single time. This is disgusting. This is not what OV... Oh, now Shannon getting in on the action. Oh, hold on, finally, here we go. The locker room emptying out, coming out to save. There's Isaiah a... throwing shots at anything that moves. Crixus has a kendo stick. Isaiah and Crixus, who were affected by the faction earlier tonight. 
the faction getting a taste of their own medicine now. The numbers starting to even out, but this is just broke down into damn gang warfare. May Domingo lighten up Luke. Krix is back out with that kendo stick. Oh, Mahabali Shira. Just, there's just fights happening all over the place here, guys. There's chaos just chaos. right in front of us. It's happening all around the ring, all over Davis Arena. He's broke down into a riot. This is insane. Uh -huh, watch your back, huh? Krix just comes through that kendo stick. Saves oh. the day. Joe Mack just slapped in the back of that kendo. And now some chops for his troubles. The faction now. The faction at the pave.